What if you could create your own AI agents who are able to make their own decisions and even talk to one another? And what if you could delegate tasks to them for your own business? Sounds pretty great, right? That is the promise of TaskAid, a tool that actually has been around for many years now. But this is the first time, in my opinion, that they're moving a little bit away from productivity and more into the AI agent game. But wait, what the heck? Are virtual AI agents. So AI agents differ than large language models in that you can think of them like digital helpers. They are created so that they can perform tasks or make decisions on their own. These agents are using AI to also learn from data that you are inputting. So theoretically, it has a memory. It will learn from your content. And they are supposed to get better at what they do over time, just like humans learning from practice. In this video, we're going to look at the TaskAid platform. We're going to run through what works well, what doesn't work that well, and uh, whether or not I think this is a valuable tool to invest some time into. When you sign up for a new TaskAid account, you will start with a blank dashboard. On the very left-hand side of your screen, you'll see a layout where you can create different tasks. You can sync those tasks across your calendar. You can flag or star important tasks that you need to get done. Knowing full well that I could use this for productivity, I skipped the tasks and went straight to AI agent creation. As you see here, I've created a handful of different agents, all with their own niche. But if you wanted to create an agent from scratch, you could easily do so, thanks to Taskade's many, many templates. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to scroll through different agents that you could create. And within that side view, as you can see here, there are sub-agents. So if you wanted a blog writer, for example, you'd simply click on the blog writer agent. Everything that pops up is automatic from TaskAid. This is a pre-written prompt that they have designed for you. And I highly recommend that you always make your agents a little more authentic to what it is that you need. So you can change the prompt. You should definitely change the tone. You have a number of different tones to choose from, and you can also choose your language. The AI model is pretty standard, so there are not many changes you can do in terms of LLM model. And perhaps my favorite thing about the agent is that you can enable a knowledge base for them. You can add your own links, YouTube videos, you can sync with your Google Drive or Dropbox. And you'll see here, I already have a variety of media and links that I own that I wanna use to train my agent. We also have command options where you can ask them to do a preset command, or if there's something else you'd like to do with the blog, you can write that custom command yourself. And don't forget, of course, all of these prompts over here are community led. That means people who are using TaskAid are also custom creating various prompts that you can use with your AI agent. So if you're not finding a TaskAid agent that exactly fits your need, be sure to check out the community prompts as well. Let's start a new chat so you can actually see what this looks like. Here I'm asking my chat agent who I have pre-programmed to focus solely on copywriting. Once I enter my prompt, you'll see the AI agent actually go through all of the information that I've uploaded in my media knowledge center. It pulls from that knowledge center, looks through my previous content, and helps extract language that makes sense and answers my prompt. Now, the good thing is it's quick. That was a lightning fast response. And the response was genuinely pretty good. But the bad thing is, as you'll notice here, is it's formatted kind of weirdly. <laughs> you'll see a lot of errors here. There are a lot of strange uh, half sentences. Things are cut off, uh, but uh, we can always refine. In this sense, it is like having a conversation with an LLM. We can refine what it is that we're looking for. So here I'm asking it to match my tone based on the knowledge base. Again, it is doing a good job with the content itself, but you can't ignore the strange 
formatting. On the right side of the screen, you'll also see a full chat history. So if you ever want to revisit a chat with a particular agent, it's easy to go back and find the exact content that you're looking for. Now, AI Teams was something that I was particularly excited for in this project. When you create AI agent teams, theoretically, you can choose individual agents to speak to one another. Again, Taskade advertises itself as an agent, which will work together and almost be able to speak together and figure out creative problems together. So here I've made a team under my scale subheading, something that I need to do for my business growth. So I've asked my specialized agents, my SEO agent, my roadmap planner, and my entrepreneur agent to come together to see if they would work together in tandem to create a plan for me. The thing that I like about it again is that it's searching the web, it's searching my knowledge base, but the thing that I'm not so thrilled about is that they still answer individually and if you look close enough, the responses that each agent is giving me are almost the same per agent. So in this case, I'm not finding that they are working together. It actually appears as though they're reiterating and copying the same content from agent to agent to agent. Again, not quite what I wanted when I feel like I was promised that an AI team would be working and speaking together. Having said all that, another major win for TaskAid is that you can set up automations so that things go out seamlessly. So for example, you could set up an automation where every week your agent, who is an email writer, sends out or creates a newsletter draft. It could be every Thursday at a specific time. You get to set the parameters. You can also see there are a variety of automations that are pre-programmed. So if you don't want to create your own from scratch, or if there's already a template that makes sense for your business, for example, if you want to update your MailChimp email list, you can easily do so by connecting TaskAid with your MailChimp. Now, when we create one from scratch, the triggers are completely empty. It's uh, totally up to you, but you have a variety of ways to set up a trigger. You could link it with YouTube, HubSpot, you could link it with your email newsletter list. Uh, in this case, since I predominantly put video content out on YouTube, I could create an automation where every time I post a video on YouTube, it is automatically transcribed or it is automatically turned into a blog post. You can also connect this task aid with your email account now, initially, I was hopeful for this particular uh, automation because I was thinking that I could set up an email that would respond to specific people. What I actually found when I went through this entire process was that if you link it with your Gmail to create a new email, it's going to respond automatically to every email that you receive. And while there's no way to pick and choose who it responds to yet, if you have a general email box uh, let's say you have a, a hello at or an info at or you want to have some automated response welcoming um, or thanking people for their potential email, you could easily do that as well. Now, TaskAid also has a variety of help articles, which if you ever run into a problem, not only do they have a help team that you can chat with, but their FAQs are very thorough. As far as the costs go, you can try this tool for free with certain limitations. You won't be able to upload certain files or turn on your knowledge base uh, with the exception of one source that you can pull from. So if you did want to upgrade, $8 a month is not a big stretch. If you wanted to be able to have more capabilities, if you wanted to be able to have more use with your agents, if you wanted to have a larger knowledge base. This tool for me was hit or miss, and I think it was because of my expectations. If I were using Taskade solely as a freelance platform to keep my tasks in one place, to keep me on schedule for certain deadlines, to sync client deadlines across my own calendar, that in and of itself would be worthwhile. But I came to this platform with the hopes of creating AI agents that were better 
than large language models like ChatGPT. It was my impression, again, that the agents would be able to perform tasks and make decisions on their own. And unfortunately, I don't find that to be the case with these agents. And I particularly don't find that to be the case with the agent teams. My hope is that TaskAid keeps making these agents better. Beyond the formatting issues, which is something I could potentially overlook, if they're ever able to get their agents to really truly act like a team of people that I have hired for my own business, I will absolutely be back to use the service. But for the time being, if you're a virtual assistant who's trying to just keep tasks and projects in one place, this could be an option, but I think there are better and free tools for you to be able to do that. Tools like Notion do the exact same thing. If you're somebody who's interested in creating agents with specified niches, I hate to say this, but the same prompts can be used at ChatGPT using their free 4.0 model. And I don't really find a huge difference between the two. So again, if this is something that you decide to explore to see if you can sync your automations with your tasks, with your needs, then again, maybe it is a tool for you. Now, having said that, we are just at the beginning stages of AI. So who knows where this tool is going to be in months or years. I am curious though, if you've used TaskAid before, what are your impressions of the tool? Do you like the platform? And do you think I should take another look at it? Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I'll catch you on the next one.